in this tutorial, I'm gonna just show you a little trick to help you get the energy right, how much energy you put into a roll cast. And in any cast, in fact, but this is a great technique on water to learn, and we use the roll cast to do it. Here's our contact point coming towards us, and there's our anchor line on the water. We've got a, an okay D loop. Now, how much energy should we put into the forward cast? That much? It seemed a little excessive. What about taking some energy out? The line didn't go out, okay? So, a good way to just practice your energy transfer is to try and what we call fail the cast. Just keep doing these. Ooh, you see the way it just nearly turned over but didn't quite? Let's try that again. Oh, almost turned over. The fly line turned over but the leader didn't. Just keep trying to fail the cast. You don't want to turn it over. You're just wanting to it for it to fail, okay? And when you've got to that point, just add a little bit more energy in. Oh, the line turned over and half the leader. Let's get all the leader turning over. There you go, perfect. I've just added a little more energy to each stage. You can do it really tiny at first. There, look at that, tiny little loop. A bit of a bigger loop. Ooh, a bit bigger almost. Oh, it did just turn over the fly that time. It was no more energy than was required to turn over that fly. And what that teaches us is, when we come to things like the switch cast, not to overpower the cast. And what that gives us a lovely straight leaders every time. Practicing the energy in the cast. Give it a go, it's a great practice technique. 